guys. Happy early morning chalking and coffee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm still in my pajamas, y'all. I just woke up a little while ago, about an hour and a half ago, but I was busy doing reports and stuff. So I'm a little late. My Ray Dunn of the day is cute chick. How fun. How cute is a little chicken? I thought it was perfect for an Easter spring tier tray series. So good morning. Hi, Kathy. Hi, MJ Thomas in Arizona. Good morning, Debbie Green. Hi, Peggy Engel. Had my coffee and some face. We wanted to wish you a wonderful day. Oh, Peggy, have a great day. Have a great day. Um, so, um, yeah, you too, Debbie Green. Awesome. So today we're going to keep on going with our tier tray series. We're going to make um, some more projects. I'm thinking, like I said, I'm pretty sure after today I'll still have two more two more uh, videos that I can do, two more lives. Um, and then after that, we're going to be done. It'll be done our Easter and spring. So we'll be ready to rock and roll and create some other fun things. Not many updates since I seen you last <clears throat> 12 hours ago. Um, one thing I will say I did do, I pulled a total newbie and dangerous move and I left my hot glue gun part plugged in all night long. Whoopsie. I did not mean to do that, but, um, I did. So thank you, Gorilla Glue Gun, for not burning my house down. Um, so there's that. Um, so I'm going to jump right in, get going, um, because I've got a lot to do today and I still have to get ready for the day. Um, so there's that. Uh, okay, so as you're joining, if you are um, coming in live, please say hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, please say hashtag replay. If you are... Um, brand new to hearing about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, um, but you're not working with a designer, I would love to be your designer. Please put a one down below. I'll message you the link to my VIP group. If you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and throw me some hearts. If you, uh, do, 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 do. If you are, um, catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Tour designer, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. I would love it if you click share. Also, you guys, I'm 10 away or well, as of last night, I was 10 away from 5,000 page likes. So if you have not liked my page, please go right on up, like my fan page, turn the notifications on. So that way you can be notified as soon as I go live. Um, if you are on YouTube, right under the live video to the left of the live feed, is not only the uh, subscribe button, which I would love for you to hit subscribe and turn the bell on because when Facebook goes wonky, y'all, I could still broadcast live on YouTube. So make sure you're doing that. Right next to that is also the share button. Once again, if you're not a chalk tour designer, I would love it if you click share. Um, <clears throat> what else do we have? If you um, would like to follow me on my social media, you can find me first at, where is it? First on YouTube at Crafting and Stampin'. No G's. We dropped the G's in New Jersey, you guys. I have over 800 Chalk Tour videos there. Hopefully something will bring you some inspiration. Um, hoping that you love it. Uh, so make sure you're following me there. I'm the same username on Instagram, Crafting and Stampin' No G's. Tons of finished project pics. I'm doing my Insta stories, some Instagram TVs. Follow me there. Be sure to follow me there. And last but not least, you can find me on Chalk Tour with Jessica on Facebook. Everything goes over onto Facebook, you guys. I've got my um, 
what is that called? My blog goes over there. Can you tell I'm like not even a full cup of coffee in? I can't, I don't even have words. I'm, um, my blog post goes over there. My Instagram pics go over there. I do all my live updates over there when things are coming in stock, out of stock, when things are coming out. So be sure to follow me there too, okay? Now, let's chit chat really quickly. Club Couture, you guys, it is what? Uh, January 22nd, right? So there is seven days left to get your hands on this month's Club Couture. Now, what is Club Couture, you ask? Club Couture is the best DIY home subscription service out there. It includes an exclusive size B transfer and three coordinating chalk paste singles every single month. It's only $19.99 plus tax US or $26.99 plus tax Canadian. Free shipping on both. Now, also when you join Club Couture under me, you will also get access to my private Club Couture group where I do three additional projects every single month without fail to help you get the most bang for your buck with your Club Couture transfer. Additionally, when you join Club Couture, you will also be privy to Chalk Couture sponsored sales. And this month's sale is pretty freaking awesome. It's 20% off all three ounce chalk paste jars, including our five brand new colors, Wisteria, Pink Grapefruit, Citrus Splash, Spring Zing, and Blue Jay. It is such a great sale. If you need to stock up on some chalk paste and you are not a Club Couture member, you seriously need to consider it because 20% off is pretty awesome. Now, once you join Club Couture in February of 2020, um, under me, know that your Club Couture subscription does not begin until March the 5th of 2020. That'll be your first billing and when they send out your very first subscription transfer. But once you add Club Couture into your cart now, you will then be prompted to get the, um, to add on rather the February Club Couture, which is called Welcome to Our Home. It is proving to be our most popular Club Couture transfer yet. You'll also get those three coordinating chalk paste singles. Now, when you're adding on to the subscription, there is going to be a shipping cost. So just so you know, if you want to add on this, it's $19.99 plus tax and shipping. U.S. or $26.99 plus tax and shipping Canadian. You will also have the ability to add on our Kickstarter kit. The Kickstarter kit is amazing. It is, um, it comes with a 9 by 12 porcelain steel and a magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board and base, a small squeegee, a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, a multi-tool, and a board and base. This is everything you need, you guys, to keep on going with fresh home decor every single month using your Club Couture transfers. Now, if you need that information sent to you because I just blah, 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 did it all like that, just comment club down below and I'll be happy to message it all to you. Um, do not miss out. If you were contemplating Club Couture this month, don't miss out on the opportunity to get your hands on some awesome chalk paste at a discounted price and to get that awesome exclusive transfer. Know that Club Couture, you guys, the only people that get Club Couture transfers are Club Couture customers and designers. That's it. You can't just go in and purchase the transfer. It doesn't work like that. It's exclusive. Now, last thing I'm going to talk about before we get into chalking is if you are ready to go ahead and start off 2020 with a bang um, or continue on in 2020 with a bang and purchase your business in a box and launch your empire. This is our business in a box, aka new designer kit. It's only $99 plus tax and shipping to join my team in the U.S. <clears throat> or $129 plus tax and shipping to join my team in Canada. Now, this is the kit. Um, it's valued at over $250 U.S. and over $340 Canadian. Comes with five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9x12 porcelain steel, Ada magnetic chalkboard, the gorgeous new spring-summer catalog, and seven silkscreen adhesive back reusable transfers. Is that not a huge kit? That's insane, right? And it's uh, the best part about it is it's everything you need to get going as soon as you get your kit. Like, you can start rocking and rolling right with that. Now, you might be saying, Jess, that's all well and good. I've got questions, girl. No problem. I've got answers. Comment join down below and I'll message you links to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that's about 20 minutes long that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want this to be a decision that you're totally happy with and that makes you excited to be a part of something. Okay. All right. Now, while I get my screens ready, here is a little something um, to read up on about Chalk Couture if you're brand new to learning. Hi, Laura. Hi, Euphrasia. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Laurel. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Glamma. Good morning. 
Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Brianne. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lynn Caps. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Megan. Hi, Kristen. You guys are at Saga. Oh, I miss you. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Levita. Hi, Allison. Hi, Jana. Hi, Mary. Hi, Michelle Montoya. Hey, Karen McDonald and Lori DeStefano. Good morning. Hi, Megan Ferris. Hi, Sherry Jensen. Hi, MJ Thomas. Here we go. We're going to go back here. Um, chalk paste, not very much used. It is dried. MJ Thomas, you can, um, you can reactivate the chalk paste by adding some distilled water. Um, you, you're going to have to stir a little bit if it's like really, really hard. And if it's older than six months, you're not going to probably recover that. I mean, you can try. Um, I put mine into the microwave a little bit, but... I'm not going to, I wouldn't tell everybody to do that because I don't know your microwaves. <laughs> um, so yes. Hi, Sherry Prince. Hi, Barbara Loman. Hi, Sherry Farrick. Hi, Kathy Toms. Have you seen any? Oh my gosh. Kathy Toms. Yes. Those husband videos on Bullseye Playground are hysterical. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I finally decided on what I was going to put at the top of this sweet little frame that we made. Okay. Um, I decided on the word Easter from the original vintage truck add-on. Okay. So I decided that it would be super cute if I put it on, I think. And I wanted to put it on in the marvelous color because I think it'll be a good pop of color against the gray here. Now, um, like I said, fun fact, left my hot glue gun on all night long last night. Can't believe I did that. But, you know, there's that, right? Oh, maybe we won't do Marvelous because, you know what? It might. It's, you know what? We're going to do a totally different color because the Marvelous will go through the ears. And I don't want that. So maybe we'll do, let's do Wisteria instead. Wisteria is just such a great color. Um, and I think it'll really, it'll complement the Marvelous and the bright white for sure. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is grab my stirring stick. Okay, um, I fuzzed my transfer up. I wrote the bat on the back of it. And the reason why we do that is because our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. So once we clean it, we want to go ahead and place it back into uh, or back onto the carrier sheet. We want to do it the right way. Okay, so let's say, oops, I probably should go back down this way. Hi, Judy Adams. I'm feeling so much better, Laurel. Very much better. Hi, Patty Gentry. Hi, Mary Spinelli and Stacy Peake. Good morning. All right. So grabbing my wisteria. I'm popping it on to my squeegee. And all I'm doing is pulling the color across the silk screen area. Just like so. And it's okay that a little bit of it went off. No big deal. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Don't want any lines in our silk screen area. Now I'm just going to take my time and peel this back. Oh, it's awfully light, but it's still adorable. It's a little hard to read from here. And I'm wondering if it's because of, hold on, the light. Oh, it's perfect. Hold on. You can see it for sure. Oh, it's adorable. Hold on. Yeah. Can you guys see it from that way without the light, like, cracking across it? Oh, so cute. Look at that little sign. You see it? Now you can see it. But if I turn it down, the light is going to, like, blind it out. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Cindy Colombo. Hi, Maria Bell. I love this bunny, too. This sweet little bunny is from the vintage truck spring add-on. It's brand new. It just launched this month. Okay. So I'm super pumped that we have that. Now here's a fun fact. I thought maybe I, at first I was thinking maybe we could hang it from there, but the more I look at these carrots, I am obsessed with them. Um, this is definitely going to be something that will hang off the top of my tear tray. And then as we said last night, this will just go over it on the back. But it's going to complement this so well, I think. And even look, our little sweet bunnies that we did the other day. This is going to be, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we did that, right? So let's get that one out of the way. Let's put our Easter up there. Hello, Peggy from PA. Where about in PA, Peggy? I'm in New Jersey. Are you local to me? 
Okay. So I'm going to take my stir stick and my squeegee and put it inside my little color tray. I love having them so I'm not laying stuff just on the ground or on my tabletop rather. Okay, so now let's move on to add some other things. Now, I was thinking, first of all, I thought this would be a super cute little pop-up Easter basket um, to pop into my tear tray with like some little, little grass, like the little fake grass stuff. And um, what do you call that? like some little mini eggs. And I just thought this would be super cute. So we're gonna use um, one of our fun little Hello Spring transfers, okay? And I'm gonna do the little sweet bunny, okay? Where's the little bunny? Or we could do your good egg. Oh, why don't we do that? Let's do your good egg because I'm gonna put some uh, little Easter eggs in there. Some that, you know, the little itty bitty mini ones that you can get at like the craft stores. We're gonna do that. Okay, so we're going to do this one first. You know what this is, you guys? It's a little pop-up popcorn box. I had ordered them for something forever ago, and I was like, rot row, these are way too tiny for what I thought. So I was like, oh, maybe I can use it as like a gift card holder. Still didn't work out the way that I wanted. So I'm glad I actually kept these because it is a fun spring color. So we'll go and use that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say good egg on the back of this. Um, got my second order. Can't wait to make some. Yay, Judy. Where did you get the box? Laurel, um, I don't even know. I want to say probably Amazon is probably my guess. Oh, get out of here, Peggy. I'm right over the Walt Whitman Bridge. What a small world, girl. I'm in Audubon, New Jersey. The pink one. Yes, this one. I think it was Amazon. That's what I'm going to say, Laurel. I'm pretty sure. All right, so I'm just putting good egg on the back because it's brand new, haven't used it yet. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fuzz it up on our fuzzing towel. Now, our fuzzing towel is awesome because it's double-sided and it's 12 by 18 uh, in length, okay? This side is a microfiber side used for helping to clean off the rest of your board. The side that has the tag is the, um, like, uh, what would you call it? a terry claw side to go ahead and help you pick up a bit of lint so that way your transfers won't be crazy sticky, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop this on here. Okay, move that out of the way. And why don't we do, um, why don't we do that in Why don't we do it in pink grapefruit? Let's see how it looks in pink grapefruit. Okay. Perfect size, right, Laurel? It's so cute. I want to say I got them on Amazon. Like, this was forever ago. I've just kept them in my craft stash. Um, just because, because I... It's hard to get rid of things sometimes because, you know, the second you get rid of it, you're going to be like, oh, I could use that. Yeah, that's the story of my life. Okay, so we've got some of this. I'm just going to get that excess right off of there. Let's just grab a little mini squeegee and we're going to just pull this color across. Oh, this is such a pretty. I love this pink grapefruit color. It's so pretty. Okay, I used way too much. Let's get that excess off. Okay, just like so. Oh, how cute is that? You're a good egg. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's set up this little box. Twist it the opposite way a little. There it goes. All right, we're going to go ahead and hot glue this onto the box. And then that way I could pop some of the Easter grass. Now, I oh, when I do my tear tray series, I will always make all the projects first. Okay. And then the last video is always going to be putting the tear tray together and what I did with it, what I used. So you want to make sure you're following this, this series. Okay, you guys, because it is going to be super cute. 20 Easter baskets. Holy cow. What is that? 200 Easter baskets for your hotel, Laurel. Holy cow. That's crazy. Yes, Valerie. They Pink grapefruit and wisteria will be back in stock soon. Yes. Um, 
Yep, gave away a new etching kit the week before I found out we could etch. Oh, no, LaVita. Yes, we can etch with the Chalk Couture. Yes, with our transfers. Is it my imagination? Are the new colors really, really thick? Yes. No, no, mine were, Judy. They work fine, though. They're just very... They, I, they're like a different consistency than what we're used to, but they still work fine. I just added a bunch of water. Like my wisteria is perfect. I think I got blue jay perfect now too. Pink grapefruit, I'm still working on a little bit. It works fine. That's the crazy thing. It's a different consistency, but works perfect. All right. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to glue. We are going to hot glue. Oh, now all of a sudden the hot glue gun don't want to work. Maybe it automatically did turn off a little. I don't know. We're going to do the hot glue onto our little basket here. And then what we'll do is we'll fill it with some cute little Easter grass. Okay. How fun is that? We're going to fill it with just some Easter grass and we'll put some cute little things. Maybe I'll even do some like fun chocolate eggs or something in it. So that way as people come in, they can see it and be like, oh, that's cute. Um, so that's fun. So we've got that one done. We've got our Easter sign done. Now we're going to do something else. Um, I really loved last night when I pulled this out, I was like, I've got to make this work now. Keeping in mind that my tiered tray, I have multiple of them that I'm going to be making for, but the specific one I want to work with is not very big, right? So I really want to find a way to do the follow the bunny. He has chocolate, but I can't do it on a big sign. So I'm thinking I'm going to attempt the box frame. Okay. And what I think I want to try and do, I love these little heart corners pieces. They're awesome. I wish I could figure out something to do with these. Uh, so let's see. All right. So I want to do, um, I think I'm going to flip it to the back. So what I'm going to have to do is adjust it a little bit, right? I don't think it can fit in wide ways. It's going to have to go in this way. The only thing that bothers me is that it looks like it's on an arch because it is because it's supposed to be arching, right? But he has chocolate could easily fit right there, right? And then see what I was thinking would be super cute is if I was able to put the bunny down there. It's just not mm. bummer. Okay. I don't know. Let's see something. Let's just play, shall we? Like, if you know what I should do this on? I should do this on like a little chalkboard because, you know what? Yes, because I might have to erase a few times. The box frame is not going to allow me to erase, so hold on. Let's test it out on that little easel I found yesterday. Remember I was going to pull this out? Uh-oh, it's stuck. There it goes. I don't know if this is... Yes, it is. That's the one I think. All right, let's see if we can make this work, okay? So we're going to use our brand new paste scraper I'm going to show you. Now, the paste scraper will be back in stock soon, okay? Some of the things are popping in and out of stock because we are making sure that we have things in both warehouses, just so you guys know. Um, now hold on, I do have a major glue dot on here, and we got to get that off. I wonder if the paste scraper will help get that off. Let's try it out, shall we? Yeah, paste scraper. All right, it does multiple things. Who's your daddy? All right, so let's go ahead and use our paste scraper to get this chalk paste off. Now, keep in mind, this is not a chalk couture board, okay? And it still works. I love it. Now, you're going to have some shadowing left behind, but that's okay. That's what the, the board eraser comes into play with. And I'm just trying to go easy, easy, because I'm not trying to make a giant mess. Okay. Most of the clump of paste off. 
Now let's grab our board eraser and watch this. Bye, dear. Bye, little dear. Okay, grab our fuzzing towel. And get that off. Bam! Got our little easel back now. Okay, so now let's try the follow the bunny. He has chocolate. I'm determined to use this one. That's all I'm going to say. Determined. God, I love this paste scraper. It's awesome. Okay, so let's put this off to the side. Don't burn down my house, glue gun. All right, so I'm going to attempt, I'm going to have to do it this way. Let's see. I'm going to have to do a little at, the, at a time. So we're going to just go right up to the tippy top. All right, hold on. It needs to be moved over a little. Trying to see if I'm sort of centered, and it looks like I might be. So let's just do this in, should we do it in bright white? You can't go wrong with bright white on a black chalkboard. It's just classic. Hey, Dee Dee. Yay. Oh, get out of here. Hold on. I've got, I can't see what comments are coming in. Hi, Kristen. Good morning. Hi, Ann Conklin. Hi, Tracy Williams. Morning, Shirley Hess. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's stir up our bright white. Oh, I love this bright white. There is nothing I love more than a fresh bright white chalk paste. Can I just tell you that much? Okay. Are you ready? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull it across my silk screen area. I'm determined to use this little portion inside my tear tray. I can make a sign for outside, of course, and I will, um, but I want one for inside the tear tray using this. I just think it'll be so cute. Okay, ready? We got follow. And that looks pretty even, you guys. All right, so we've got follow done. Now we want to make sure that it's back to room temp, okay? Hi, Tracy. Hi, Amy. Good morning. Hi, Rosemary Phelps. Good morning. Good morning, Donna Bragg. Okay, so we've got follow. Yikes. Hold on. So I want it to be in between the two O's, okay? Okay. All right, so let's see if this is low enough. I might need to redo this. The, the, we'll see. Taking my time so I don't peel off my layer above. Okay, that looks like it's at a pretty decent spot here. Okay, so we've got follow the. Oh, I have a really cute idea. What if I put the bunny there? And then did he has? Oh, oh, wouldn't that be so cute? Okay, hold on. We're going to do it. We're going to do that. And we're going to turn the he to the she because there's a little bow on my little bunny's ear. So I think my bun bun is a little girl. That's going to be my guess. So let's do our little bunny. Should we do the bunny in grige? Please tell me I wrote on the back of that. Yes. Okay. Should we do that? Let's see. Yeah, let's do a little grige. And then we'll do a little pink bow. How's that sound?
All right. I think that'll come out so cute. And you know what? I might add a little pink to this grayish because one of my awesome downline, Miss SPG, added a little pink to hers and it turned out so cute. So, so cute. Okay. So let's think about this. Let's take one of our color trays and let's mix a little color. What do you think? Do you guys like that? Okay, so let's add, hold on, got to dry my little color tray up. Okay, let's add a little bit of grayish. Obviously, we don't need a lot of color for this because we just don't. Okay, that was pink grapefruit. I need a new stick for Marvelous. We literally need like just a little touch here. How cute will that be? It's like a little grayish, pinkish bunny. So cute. Okay. We're going to say follow the bunny. She has chocolate. OMG. It's going to be adorable. Hold on. Why is that wet? What did I spray? Whoops. Hold on. Hold on. I've got bubbles. Lots of bubbles. On. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so get a little squeegee here, and we're gonna do marvelous for the bow. Why does it look like I have a lot of bubbles there? I'm so confused. A little too much gray, gray and marvelous here. Just a wee bit too much. Okay, hold on. Little teeny bit of marvelous up on here. See how this comes out. Oh, how adorable. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we got follow the bunny. Sorry, I had to pull it up so I could see it up close, you guys. I didn't mean to do that where you couldn't see it, but I couldn't see. Oh, I'm so glad, Lori. Thank you, Patricia. Hi, Trish. How are you, girl? Okay. So let's try this, and then we're going to turn the he into a she has chocolate. Oh, my God. This is going to be adorable. Oops. What did I do that for? Just stick the whole lid into the... Darn it. That's my white. Hold on. I'm throwing myself off with the lids here. Okay. Now let's come on back to this one. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, ready? Oh, gosh. Did I dry that? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, hold on. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do sh he has chocolate, and then I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to move the S over, and then I'll do the arrows. How's that sound? Sound good? Because I think that'll make it even cuter. <laughs> oh my gosh oh this is gonna be adorable i knew i wanted to use this transfer today all right now we're gonna add the s in front of the h to make it she has okay hi donna keller johnson thank you girl first time for me so glad you good hello diana are you a brand new Person learning about Chalk Couture, Diana, let me know because I'd love to send you the link to my VIP group and I would love to be your designer. Just let me know. All right. So we have follow the bunny. He, it currently says, has chocolate. We want it to say she. So we're going to move this over after this. Let me make sure it's totally dry. We're going to let it come back to room temp real quick and then we're going to add the S down and it's going to be so cute. Just you wait and see. Okay. okay I want to make sure, though, that I've got it lined up right. Okay, hopefully that's good. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to use a multi-tool for this. Oh, it's a little uneven, so we're going to redo that. <laughs> it's a lot uneven, you guys. Hold on. But watch how easy this is to correct this. Ready? Watch. to get that off. All right, so we're going to have to clean this little S here. Hold on. We're going to just redo it again. No biggie. It's no big deal. Oh, that was all the gunky. What was I doing there? Um, on, let me just get a little wipe here. I'm just going to quick clean that S because it is a lot of gunk up in there. Because I didn't do a very good job of getting my excess off. I only need to worry about just this little letter right now. Nothing else. It's all I'm concerned with. that back down. Okay. Good morning, Becky. Yes, you are. Yes, you are brand new to finding out, Diana, about Chalk Couture. Or yes, you are a designer. Fill me in, girl. Fill me in. Okay. Let me see. 
how this looks. That looks to be pretty good. I can sort of see the shadow. So we're going to test this out. Uh-oh, I just pulled the E off and that's okay. <gasps> that looks good. I like E. All right, and hold on. Let's try that. And then I just ripped up the, the E here. So I'm just going to fix that. Okay, how adorable is that? Follow the bunny. She has chocolate. Yes, she does. Oh, Anne, you are so welcome. I'm so glad. Oh, thank you, Becky. Yes, you're new to it. Awesome, Diana. Here, Diana, I'm going to pop in here the link to my VIP group. Oh, hold on. There you go. Make sure you join my VIP group, Diana. I'd love to be your designer. Okay. Isn't it so cute? Oh, all right. So there's another one down for our tier tray. So we've got our little fake little Easter basket, which now I need to put some chocolate candy in here. That's only going to make sense. And I should put this near it. That would be adorable. All right. And then what else did we do? We finished up our little Easter... Um, we did this and we're going to do one more project. So we added our Easter onto here, which now that it dries, oh, it is super light. So you know what we're going to need to do? Let's darken this up real quick. Let's just darken it up. Okay. All right. Let's, um, hmm. It's so funny because I can hear my echo in the background. You guys might be able to hear it too. <laughs> All right, let's do this in maybe, how about fig? How about we do it in fig instead? Fig, where are you, fig? I love the wisteria, but it just turned out so, so, so light. Here it goes. We're going to do fig instead because fig is a beautiful light color purple as well just not as light as the um wisteria but it's still light oh fig no there it goes sorry oh fig 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 you got a little hard on me here and i'm just gonna have to bring you back to life Has it really been that long since I've used fig? Didn't feel like it was. Sometimes you just got to add a little bit of extra water to it and it'll come on back. Sometimes though the stir stick when it gets to be that crunchy, if you will, is not going to do the trick. So you're going to want to use a multi-tool. Because a multi-tool you have way more ability to move around with this. coming back to life slow but sure I guess it's been a while since you know I probably haven't used fig 
since fall. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably been a little bit. Oh yeah, it's coming back to life. Yes. Yay, we just need enough to do the word Easter. Okay, and then I can really mess with it off camera. Because I'm not trying to mess up my tablecloth. Right? Here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go like this. I'm going to drag that excess color I just got across the table. Hopefully, the wisteria didn't dry too much into here to where I can't get it. Well, to where I can't get it to go across. Okay, hopefully that worked. Let's see. Looks a little better. There we go. Now you can really see it. Diana, that is our um, spray bottle. That is called a fine mist sprayer. Okay. This is right in my online store, which um, I will message you the link to my online store. Yes. Thank you, Mary Beth. You're so sweet. There's the link to my online store. Okay, so we've got that. We brought our fig back to life. Yeah, you just have to work with it. Um, Did you mean play the song, We've Got All That We Need? No, Alexa, actually I didn't. But thank you very much for jumping in there and scaring the crap out of me. Um, you just have to play with it a little bit. Stop. Um, but that's about it. That's that's that. All right, so now we've got our Easter sign done. We did our popcorn. We did the follow the bunny. She has chocolate. Now we're going to do one more project because this technically technically didn't count as a project. I did it last night. Okay, so let's do... Um, I wanted to show you guys. I did this for my team. Well, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. We'll save that for tomorrow's live because it's going to take a little while. Those are already cleaned. Let's do, should we do our little bunny? Um, I want to make, that's not the transfer. Where is it? This is for tomorrow. Hold on. I'm getting there. I'm trying to find it. My sweet little cottontail farms. Here it is. We're going to put the little bunny because he's too cute or she is too cute. We're going to pop it right inside our box frame. Okay. And... Oh, it's going to be so cute. I feel like I should do another little... I wonder if I have another little... I wonder if I can get that on somehow. Hold on. Let's think about this. Is the tags... I think the tags are not going to be long enough to carry that. No, they're not big enough. Okay. We'll figure that out. And I feel like I want to keep using this fun grayish color that I made here. I wonder if I have enough. I think it would be super cute. All right, so let's get that transfer out of here now. Fits in there perfectly. And this little bunny is so flipping detailed, it's not even funny. Maybe, I wonder if I should just do it. You know what? We might just do it in black velvet. I don't know. Hold on. Let me think about this. Let's think about what we can do it on. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to do it. Actually, you know what? No, I think I want to just do it. Hmm. Maybe I should just do it in like storm and then I could come over with cottontail forms in bright white. What do we think? Is that straight or crooked? My little bunny is, was crooked. And he is pushed way too over to the side now. Hold on. 
There it goes. Should we make him? I'm thinking. Hmm. Hey, Brenda. Hi, Jess Finley. How you feeling, girl? Hi, Tanya. Brown mixed with a little white to make it a lighter brown. That's a good idea. So bark and bright white. Bark or gray would be super cute. Thinking. Hmm. We could do... Why don't we do a little mix of, oh, how did that happen? You think the color I mixed already, okay. You laugh out loud at me in my reaction. Uh, Alexa is too much sometimes. She's listening to me. Stop it, Alexa. I see my screen lighting up. All right, I think... Hmm. <laughs> Let me think. Hold on. Someone's at my door. Okay. How about, why don't we add, should we do the pretty gray that we made? Should we do that? I definitely would need more. The grayish and the marvelous mixed together. And then we can, and then we could do the Cottontail Farms. Hmm. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Oh, that's up on my table. I'm wondering what we should do. What I should do. What I should do. Let's think. Sorry, you guys. Oh, it's great. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing just, uh, let's see, lettering and bark, but the custom color is pretty and would tie in with your other project. Very true. Um, I know, Tanya, that actually would be a super cute idea, right? Pink or lavender. Well, I'm thinking maybe I'll go more with the grayish color that I created with the grayish and the marvelous mixed together. We need a little bit more grayish. I'm just running through stir sticks. My favorite thing in the whole wide world to clean. Hate that. Okay. Definitely used a ton there. Do not need that much. That should be enough. Okay. Okay. Let's get a little bit more modelist just a smidge a little scotch yay another stir stick storm bunny brown bunny with cottontail farms in gray over top Ooh. I feel like I don't have anything else brown though so what if I do the words in brown to match the frame what do you guys think about that That could be a really pretty color for this bun bun. What do we think? That looks pretty, right? What do we think? Morning, Laura. Shirley Hess says storm. Sherry says yes. Tina says yes. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. It looks like you guys are saying yes to the idea that I said. So I'm going to go with that. I think that'll be fun. All right, so let's scoop this on here okay and another squeegee for good measure okay ready let's pull this color across Okay, 
Let's get all that excess off. Didn't have that much excess. Okay. Now we'll peel it off. Oh, right row. There it goes. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that turned out. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, hold on, let's try it out. My goodness gracious, it's perfect. Bun Bun! Hi, Rebecca Burns! Oh, that's so cute. Wait, hold on. I see an idea. Tiny Thomas, could you hang a small piece of wood to the bottom of the box frame? Drill holes. Tanya, drill holes. Girl, it's power tools. Using twine and put the Cottontail Farms on it and look nice like a little farmhouse. That would be a really good idea. That would really be a good idea. Which, what I wish I could have done is just found another little sign. Yeah, I don't know if I want to put the Cottontail Farms over this now. Because it's going to take away from it. We're not putting the Cottontail sign. We're not putting Cottontail Farms. I'm going to find a little something to put this on. I have got so much in my craft stash. We're going to find it. All right, hold on. Let's let's close up. Let's close up Grage. I think this is the latest I've ever gotten showered on a Saturday. Can I just say that? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's find something. Okay. Let's find something. I've got tons of little pieces of things here. I've got to have something that's small and skinny enough to fit this, right? Right, right, right. Dang it, it's not long enough. Oh, 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 hold on. I might have something. Damn. That is gonna fit. Yes. All right. So, these are little wood shims. They are from the wood pile collection at. Look, it's gonna be perfect. These are from the Woodpile collection at, if you know Woodpile, you know what, it's my second favorite store, okay? So for all our, anybody who's on that knows me, can you please help our friends out and let them know what my second favorite store is, please? Now, should we do it? Ooh, hold on. I've got a great idea. We're going to do this very dingy farmhousey. okay? Hold on, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. A mix of wet and dry brush. If I can find all my colors, that would be sweet. Oh god, hold on, I'm gonna drop it. All right. Okay, hold on. Okay. We're gonna dingy it up, you guys. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. What color is this? Oh, I've yet to open it. All right. Maybe we'll make it dingy like our... Mm. Okay, hold on. We're going to play. You guys have got some time, right? Let's play around a little. Okay. We need... We need some paint brushes here. We need to close up this bright white so it doesn't get thick. So that's all good. Okay, hold on. I need to move some of these colors out of my way, I think, too. Because it's... Get me. We'll save the gray. Out. Hold on. Got to move some things out of the way, you guys. We need some room. There it goes. We'll leave out these three colors. Okay, much better. Now I have room to move around. All right, so let's play, shall we? We don't want that. 
What I do want is this box though. Hold on. Because then I can paint on top of this and make as big of a mess as I need to. I promise this is going to make sense in a minute. There it goes. Okay. Just need a little bit of a bigger area to paint on. And I can't use all these tabs that are in my way. There it goes. All right. So, let's move Cottontail Farms out of the way. We'll do this. So what I'm going to do first is going to whitewash it. Okay. Really? Come on. Just not moving here. There it goes. Oh my gosh, it is not coming up. Oh, and now I've got paint on me. Okay, that came right off. Thank goodness. What is happening here? What is this? It's like a plastic piece of the lid. That's annoying. Okay. Now we're open and now we can rock and roll. <laughs> Wearing paint everywhere. Okay. Let's do this, shall we? Okay, so first thing we're going to do, get this out of the way, how I just more and more paint on me, please say it's not on the tablecloth. I need a glass top for this. Okay, ready? Let's go and grab our bright white, and we are going to just paint this, okay? run the white paint over it. I will likely do two layers because it is not, I don't know, it's thick but not thick. real quick. This doesn't take long when you use your dryer to do it. Hey, Rebecca. Oh my gosh, 30 comments. What happened here? What did I miss? Hello, Patty Polly. Yay, Melinda, you just joined Club Couture. Girl, you joined under me. Did you join Club Couture under me? If you did, let me know because hopefully you'll find, you can find me on Facebook, my business page, and just message me um, so I can message you the link to my Club Couture group. You're going to love it. Okay. So we got one, we got one, um, one layer. Let's do our next layer. Whoops. Hold on. And I'm not really so worried about the sides. It's just this part I'm worried about. Okay, and that is perfect. Okay, so we've got our white base down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this up because, well, Lord knows I'll probably end up wearing it if I don't. 
Okay, like I don't know how the heck I managed to do that. All right, let's dry it. Then we're gonna come in with a, not a foam brush, a bristle brush, okay? Just like this. We're gonna do a bristle brush and we're gonna dry brush some of this brown on here. And I think it will look super cool, okay? Please say this is open. Mother of God. Oy, mother of pearl, mother of my son, anything I want to say here. <laughs> I think that's on the vintage truck um, add-on. Tanya, what was, um, let's see, what was your question? Isn't there a follow the bunny transfer? Yes, I just did that one. Where is follow? The we did follow the bunny. He has chocolate. And I turned the he into a she and did the little bunny from... Uh, Hello Spring add-ons. That is on the new vintage truck add-on spring. All right, hold on. We got to open this. Now, see, this opened way easier. Don't know why the other one decided to be a jerk about opening. Way better. Okay, now this, ooh, we might have to mix this up a little. Let's see, what can I mix it with? I need something long that I don't mind. You know what? I really don't mind if I get another, whoa, needs to be mixed up. Because it's got a lot of red undertone on the top, and I don't want that. I want it to be darker. So what we may have to do is add some black into this. Ugh, not smart, Jess. Okay, yeah, we're going to pull some of the brown here with the black. Not smart the way I just mixed this, you guys. I'm just letting you know. Definitely was not a brilliant idea on my part because, well, now I'm covered in brown. Thank God it came right off. Oh, gosh. Could you imagine having brown stuck on you all day? Oh, they'd be like, is that chocolate or something else, friends? Oh, okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of our awesome color trays. I've got too many. And we're going to add a little bit of black chalk paint to this to make it a little darker. What? Oh, Tanya, don't tell me that. I needed more locally grown. I don't think, I didn't think they retired it. I did not think they did. I thought it was just going to be website only. Okay. Get some of this brown paint. Okay. And then we add some black velvet. I mean, black paint rather, not black velvet, black paint. This is all paint I'm working with currently, you guys. Really? Hold on. Thank God for my gripper. Okay. Where's the... We don't need much. You're probably like, where the heck are you going with this, Jess? I, I promise. I'll show you where I'm going with it. Ooh, we need more brown. As I just toss the brown to the side. A 
I just want it to be a nice dark brown to sort of match the box ring. There we go. Where's our box frame? Oh, it's still a little dark. Okay, hold on. Let's add in some more brown here. Hopefully that little bit of the black on here isn't going to mess that up. We don't need much of this. We really don't. Okie dokie. Got it. So here's what we're going to do. Move this out of the way so we don't invert. Are you there? Okay. All right, Facebook, are you there? Ugh. How annoying. Okay. All right. I'm going to give it just a sec until people come back. Okay. Hey, you guys. Just give it a sec. Hello. Hi, Bice. How are you? Hi, Vita Lamb. So glad to hear that you have joined Chalk Tour. How fun. Yay. Hello again. Hey, Megan. Hi, Dawn Marie. All right. So we'll just have to, uh, people hopefully will be coming back in. All right. So here's what we are going to do. All right. So we mixed our color, all right, and it does look a lot darker than what it actually is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the color, I'm going to dip my brush into it, and I'm going to go and, and pop, like, bop up and down. Hi, babe. Bop up and down so I get the majority of the color off, and then I'm just going to come in and I'm going to dry, dry brush it, okay? Just like this. Okay. So I can even dip back in off what I took and just come back in over it. Okay. Just like so. All right. Now, this part was a little darker than what I wanted, but that's okay. Um, it's the actual... It is, it still looks good and dingy. Okay. Now, I have to 
get my sandpaper because some of this is a little rough, the edges. And I could actually sand off where I went a little heavy handed with the brown. See? See how it just lightened it up? Because I didn't, I obviously would not want it to be that dark. Okay. See? See how, how dark it made it, or how dark it was and how light we just made it. See, isn't that fun? So now we could do the Cottontail Farms on this. And I honestly would probably do it in, I would probably do it in like black velvet, to be honest with you. Back like a bad penny. <laughs> Dawn Marie, they are almost closed. Hi, Georgie. All right. So did you guys see how we did that? We literally just, we dipped into the color. We bopped off our excess and then we just went across like that. You see how the cool effect it gives? Okay. And I, I, I like that it's going to coordinate with our box frame here. Okay, it's a little bit lighter, but that's okay. It will coordinate with it. I'm all right with that. So now, it is a little rough, so I will probably, I will wax this a little bit. Oops, sorry. Okay. Come on. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so we've got, we got our, our wax. We're going to wax this so that way if there's any indents or any places that are rough, the wax is going to protect our transfer. Okay, and it should hopefully make it where it doesn't look like there's a big cut out of it and smear and stuff. Okay, so where's our Cottontail Farms? What did I do with that? Cottontail Farms. I've already used it. I wrote on the back already. Wow, Dawn Marie, that's crazy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to fuzz this just like this okay once we get cottontail farms done we are gonna be finished now I wonder I bet you I could we could probably cut a hole in this with my crocodile okay should we do black velvet? I feel like we should do black velvet just to make it be, you know. I think it'll look better in the black velvet. And then we can add some ribbon and stuff to it. that up there so I don't spill it and let's grab yet another squeegee okay. I think the black velvet's gonna look good <coughs> I think it'll look classic oh Oh, I love it. 
I love it. Perfect. It turned out super cute. Okay, let's dry this up. I've got way too much going on on my table. I can't take this. <laughs> and I'm super glad I waxed because there were some parts of this, of these little shims that were, that were very uneven. All right, let's try my crocodile. Let's see. I should be able to punch a hole through it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's a little too thick, but I think I might be able to shove it in. I just got to make it even now. All right, let's see. Ready? Like butter. Check that out. How awesome is that? All right, hold on now. Let's get this little piece of wood out, shall we? It'll come out. I'm not worried. We'll get it out. All right. So now that we did that, we can add some fun um, ribbons and stuff to really make it colorful and pop. Like that could be our pop of color. Um, like some nice springy colors. Um, some lace. I don't have lace. But maybe some burlap, some pretty twine. We could totally add that in. Like, how cute is that? I love it. We could just hang it off the side. We could just do so much with it. It's so cute. So cute. All right, so we have our Cottontail Farms. We've got our sweet little Bun Bun. We have the You're a Good Egg. And Follow the Bunny, She Has Chocolate. Those are our tiered tray items for today. And then we finish this off. Okay, so we've got a bunch of little Easter decor going we're going to be ready to rock and roll. So that is all I've got for you guys today. Tomorrow we'll finish up some more little tear tray items and we'll finish on Monday with putting the tear tray together. I think that will be good. Or we might do more. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure out how many more projects I have left, but I really hope you guys enjoy. I got to tell you, I love this. This is probably that, or this is probably my favorite of what we did, or maybe the bun bun. Maybe the bunny is so cute. That might be my favorite too. Or your good egg. With some little eggs in there. Or a little Easter with our bunny. So cute. We did so much today. Love it all. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow. More early morning chocolate and coffee. Even though now we're currently almost at mid-afternoon. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you all later. Remember, if you'd like to go and join my VIP group... As long as you're not a designer, comment me down below. If you'd like information on joining my team, comment join down below. And if you'd like information about joining my club couture, comment club down below. Okay, guys. I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.